The short answer is very short, war. The galleon was a warship, or more precisely, a heavily armed transport vessel developed by the Western European naval powers during the Age of Exploration and first half of the Age of Sails. The galleon was developed in many countries, but is heavily associated with Spain. If you have ever seen a pirate movie taking place in the Caribbean, the ships are galleons. The galleons were used in the Spanish treasure fleets, bringing the precious metals from the Spanish colonies back to the homeland. Such treasure-filled ships were a prime target for pirates and privateers, most in the service of the enemies of Spain, mainly Britain and France. This threat meant that the Spanish needed another ship type than the Portuguese Carac that I have made an earlier video about. The Carac was made to carry a large volume of spices from the Far East, but did not need to be fast or able to do much combat at sea. The galleon was developed from the Carac, but with great changes to the design. It maintained the combined rigging with square rig and a fore and aft rig Latin sail, but the hull was greatly improved. The forecastle of the bow was removed and the profile of the ship lowered, significantly streamlining it. The castle at the stem remained, but became lowered and elongated. The hull was made longer and narrower, significantly improving the hull's ability to glide through the water, most likely an adaptation from the galleys of the Mediterranean. By having a longer profile, the galleon also had more room for the masts, and galleons would sport three or four masts at the least. The galleon was thus also the first ship to fully develop the system of four mast, a taller mainmast, and a mizzen mast at the rear. The four mast and main mast would be fully rigged, while the mizzen mast would have a Latin sail like the caravel. Combining this new hull, the mast layout, and the rigging of the sails, the galleon would be the first ship to fully have the structure that all following ships of the age of sail would have. Thus all later full rigged ships and barks would stem from the galleon. The galleon would also be the first ship to fully circumnavigate the world. This was done by Magellan in 1520-22. The galleon was much faster, slimmer and more maneuverable than its predecessor, the Krorak. Aside from this, it would also be much heavier armed. As mentioned in the beginning, the galleon was a warship, basically a gun platform with rows of cannons on both sides for combat. It was part of an arms race to protect and defend the treasure fleets. The galleons also became quicker to outrun or catch each other. At the same time, the valuable cargo meant that the ship did not need to be as big as the Carac, meaning that the galleon usually did not go beyond 500 ton, about the size of the later brig. This was significantly smaller than the Carac, but the galleon was a warship more than a cargo ship, and since protection became the job of the galleon, the Carac could grow to a thousand ton or more. The only exception to this was the Manila Galleon of the Spanish, which was also a spice cargo ship and could go as high as two thousand ton. But this was an exception, and the galleons would remain of a size about five hundred ton for the duration of their tenure at sea. It was not until the mid-18th century that more diversification in sail plans led to the obsolescence of the galleons. The ship type was thus in service for between 150 and 250 years, or about half of the age of sails, 
and almost the entire age of exploration. Being floating gun platforms, the galleons also had a very significant crew, which led to very poor conditions on board. Average crew size would be 200 to 400 men, but could be sailed by as few as 80 men. The many cannons needed many men to service them, as did the rigging, so the galleons often had high rates of disease aboard. But the large crews also meant that a large proportion of the population of the Atlantic European countries got experience with sailing from a very early age, even if this experience was harsh and often forced. This created an era of sailing like none before, with the galleon as its symbol. Even more so, as the galleons were the first ships to cross the Pacific Ocean, an opening trade and repeated connection across the largest ocean in the world, connecting Mexico to the Philippines. And with its large crew and heavy armament, the galleon would also be the first ship to create a level of security along the new maritime trade routes, thus ushering in an age of stabilized oceanic trade. This is the legacy of the galleon.